Hey, it's JC and welcome to Small Brick City. This is a very special video to celebrate a small milestone of hitting 1,500 subscribers. So I'm really close to my goal of 100,000 subscribers, only 98,500 subscribers to go. To everyone who has subscribed to this channel, thank you very much. But if you're a regular viewer but have not subscribed to the channel, it would mean a lot if you hit that subscribe button. I constantly strive to create interesting and original LEGO content just for you. So in this video, I'm going to start off by performing some LEGO magic. First, I would like to introduce you to my illusion assistant, Nikki. And together, we will try to present an amazing feat in LEGO magic. Over here, we have a little platform and two katana swords donated by Master Wu. We'll place the katanas into the base. And now we need to put Nikki into a hypnotic sleep. Perfect. Now comes the difficult part of the illusion, and that's to balance Nikki on the ends of these two katanas. It takes a lot of practice and a delicate touch. But if done right, we can balance her just like that. That's pretty impressive, but let's try to take this one step further. Let's rotate Nikki to one side, and remove one of the swords. Impossibly, she's suspended on the end of just one katana. This is the amazing Lego sword suspension illusion. This Lego illusion is based on Frank Hughes' sword suspension illusion created in 1899. The traditional illusion uses three swords and was called the three sword suspension, but the body of Lego minifigs aren't that long. I adapted the illusion to use just two swords and full disclosure, the method is not the same as the three sword suspension illusion or how magicians float girls in the air. I'm going to reveal the secret of the illusion to you and show you how to build this step by step. But by watching this video, you are agreeing to the code of ethics and bylaws of the International Lego Magician Society that you will not reveal the secret of this Lego illusion. With that said and done, here's the secret to the Lego Sword Suspension Illusion. Here are the parts you need to build and perform this illusion. You need a 1x3 black brick, a 1x3 black tile, two 1x1 modified bricks with studs on top and studs on the side, one modified brick with a clip on the side, and nine regular 1x1 black bricks. You also need two Lego minifig accessory swords, and these come with the Ninjago sets. To build the base of the sword suspension, take a 1x1 brick and add it to the end of the 1x3 brick. Stack the two modified bricks on the center stud of the 1x3 brick, and stack the rest of the 1x1 bricks around to form the platform. The modified brick with a clip goes into the lower right corner position. Secure everything with the 1x3 plate. Place the two swords point down into the holes of the modified bricks. And this is your base platform for the sword suspension illusion. Finally, you'll need an illusion assistant. The great thing about a Lego assistant is they work for cheap. I recommend looking for a torso piece that is black. You can use a long skirt piece as I have done, or you can use a regular legs piece. But I personally feel the skirt piece goes well with this illusion. You also want to find this specific hair piece for the minifig. It is a long center ponytail, but you can shift it to the side when it's on the minifig's head. There's a reason for all these specifications, because you also need the secret part. This is a minifig neck bracket. You pull off the minifig's head and slip it over the neck of the minifig. When you replace the head, the black bracket blends in with the black torso and the hairpiece covers the bracket on the back from view. You can see that the bracket is hidden from most angles by the hairpiece unless you look at it directly from the side or from the back. Just make sure the head and the hairpiece of the minifig is pressed down. But make sure you don't do that. That's the sawing a girl in half, a different kind of illusion. Now it's time to present the illusion. Display the minifig to the audience, but make sure you don't expose the bracket. Show the two katanas and make sure the audience can see they are not permanently attached to the platform in any way. 
Replace the two swords into the base. Make sure they are pointed outwards as I've shown. You now need to hypnotize the minifig. I can't teach this to you, but you can Google how to hypnotize a Lego minifig. Once she's hypnotized, hold her horizontally and place her onto the ends of the two swords. Of course, what you're going to do secretly is to make sure that the end of one sword goes into the secret neck bracket. Of course, you should do this naturally and you must practice so you do not fumble. Here's an exposed view of the illusion and of course, this is an angle the audience must never see. And that's why the hairpiece is so important. Once the girl is suspended on the edges of two swords, use one finger and rotate the girl slightly. This is so that you can remove the free sword, pass it around the girl to show there are no hidden wires, and then place the sword into the clip of the modified brick. Ta-da! Pretty simple, right? If you want to complete the illusion and end off with the girl off the sword, this is what you do. Remove the sword in the clip and replace the sword into the hole underneath the girl. As you do this, you secretly use one hand to dislodge the other sword from the secret bracket. You must make sure there's no visible movement when you do this. Lift the girl up horizontally into the air and off the two ends of the sword. And that is the LEGO Sword Suspension Illusion. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and this piece of LEGO magic. Even if you do not want to perform the illusion, this setup is great to place in any LEGO city if you have a performance stage in a park, theatre or carnival setting. It is a great intriguing piece for any display and I'm sure kids will love it as well. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Well, there's only one thumbs up, but you know what I mean. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Once again, thank you to all our subscribers. You guys are awesome. Before you go, check out these two videos in case you missed them. Talk to you soon.